Party people, we are back at it again. It's been a while, man, but I've been cooking. I came up with a great episode for you. I got my main, main man, brother from another mother, for real, for real. My main man, Moolah, man. He does so many damn different things. I can't even say it all, so I'm gonna let this man tell you what he do. What don't I do? Right. You know, um, rap artist, entertainer, network owner, car dealership owner. Right. You know, I pretty much do it all. Radio station owner. Right, right, right. Um, Serial entrepreneur. Everything. Serial you know, businessman. You're William, addicted to the life. I'm addicted to it. You got to you know? be starting something new every day, all every day. Every day, <laughs> every day. Because I feel like once you complete one journey, it's just like, the laps, you just gotta keep running laps. You know, oh, yeah, so yeah, yeah, I have yeah. I have something called still running laps and I just feel like every time you complete something, that's like another lap. So you just gotta keep going and keep going. It just never ends. So I, I tell most people, because you know you got an Atlanta man is crazy. Everybody say they do this, do that. Right. And I'd be like, whatever you do the most is actually what you actually do. Exactly. And right now you got a lot of things going on. But this network, man, this network is, is, is really what's going on right now, though. Yeah, the network. Um, shout out to the Zeus Network. I okay. was inspired by the Zeus Network. Um, Zeus, well, even before that, give but, the background of how you even came about with your idea. So how I came about taking it back, you know, mm -hmm. um, from, you know, being a radio station owner. Right. I got discovered by the Zeus Network. Okay. And so, you know, most people that go on TV, mm -hmm. you know, they want to go back for like second seasons, third seasons, and then boom, the network, they just kick you to the curb. And right, it's just right. like, you trying to figure it out. Some right, people right. are lost in the sauce. And it's just like, <laughs> right. you know, it's just like you hear. They need daddy. They need daddy. Exactly. They're so, not a boss. Right. They're not a boss. So me being a boss and, you know, I believe in doing my own thing and figuring it out. You know, I believe in going through every emotion you know, every struggle that you got to go to, but you just can't give up. You just mm. got to, you got to believe in what you do. You got to want it. So, you know, I was on a show called Bad Boys okay. LA on the Zeus Network. Okay. And I knew that I didn't want to go back for a second season or, you know, I didn't want to be on anybody else's network. Right. But I was always into like TV and, you know, film. Of course. So I said, you know what? I, I feel like it was like God's plan because- It gave you the formula. It gave me the formula, you know, being on set, seeing how everything- you know, rolls, of how course. they just roll 24 seven. And it's just like, you just catching all this action. Right. I fell in love with the lifestyle. Of course. But I didn't want anybody to control my narrative. Of so course. I launched the Lax Network. But the Lax Network was, it was in process. It was like, before I got the call to be on Bad Boys LA on Zeus, it wasn't like established right away, but the business was already in place. Before we formulated the idea exactly. and started taking steps. Right, so once I got off of that show, I said, I'm ready. And I'm gonna launch okay. my own, you know, shows, and I'm gonna give people their own shows. So, you how know, long? How long have you been doing it though? When did when did, when did the Lax Network start? The Lax Network started, um, I want to say 2021. Okay. But like I said, it was like just the business was in place. Right. And you know, before you even before you start the foundation, the business has to be in place. Okay. So the business was in place. I just had to, you know, pretty much go out, see more, like when right. it came to like filming and different sets and. Right, you know, right. learn the production exactly, side. Exactly, production side. So the most important question though, the name. What does the name mean? <laughs> Lax, right? So when you when you at home, okay. you want to sit back and you want to relax, right? Okay, you chillaxing. You, know, you, you chillaxing, okay. chillaxing. You might, you know, you just having a good time. You okay. want to just, you, you don't want to be bothered. You're in your okay. own personal space. Okay. So Lax, but the show Bad Boys LA was in LA. Okay. And I always flew into LAX. Okay. So... You know, flying into LAX and then, you know, pretty much thinking about it like, if I'm watching this network, I want to be able to sit back, relax, and I want to have some great laughs. Okay. And so then I came up with the Lax Network. Okay, so you, the double meaning for it. Exactly. Okay, okay. So what, what's the first show that you had on the Lax Network? The first show I had on there was actually like my love show. Okay. It was crazy. It was like 18 women in the house. They was fighting for my love and I ain't picked none of them. Really? <laughs> I ain't picked none of them. Okay, okay. How, how did that do? Um, it actually did good. You know, um, that was like one of the first shows on a network. Right. It was a learning experience. Right, you get to work out the kinks. Exactly. And I feel like, you know, you learn 
when you pay attention to, you know, the do's and the don'ts. Now, certain things that I of didn't course. know from filming my first show, now I know of going into, you know, the next shows that I plan on filming for the network. Right, right. So, I mean, okay, you on a, you on a show, right, on Zeus. you like, you know, I'm going to do my own thing. How does a person be like, I'm going to start a network? You know what I'm saying? Honestly, what do you do? It's, Without giving away the source, of course, but... If I wanted to start a network, what do I do? <laughs> the first thing that you would do, because TV's different now. Right. So it's like subscription-based. Streaming, right. Streaming. So, you know, you would pretty much, you know, just do your research. You know, okay. Google's your best friend. Okay. YouTube is your best friend. Okay. So, you know, just do your research on it. Okay. So I mean, everybody, I'm going to be honest with you. Like, if you're doing it for the money, like, even Zeus, mm -hmm. they had to get multiple investors, and it took of a course, while before they course. took... Off. Even if you got your own money, you just have to know how to invest within the network because if you're just doing it for money, you're not going to take off right away. What, what's the main thing that you have to spend the money on? Um, the main thing is production. Okay. The production of the and shows. the editing. So oh, you yeah, got to have you got to have a tough editor. Right. Because nobody team. wants to. Yeah, you got to have a great team. Um, marketing, you know, flyers, the promo. You know, and just these shows come with so much. It just depends on what kind of show you're shooting. Right. Like a podcast, that's something simple. You right, won't right. have to, you film it and then right. you put it up on a network. But like if you're talking about like a reality show or movie, you have to pay for different scenes. You got to, you got to have, basically you kind of got to have like a good name and great relationships. Right. So, but the actual getting the network on air or online is not the bulk of the cost. It's coming up with the content with the content but not only that um even on getting a network started you have to have the business side right because if you you got to pay for insurance if right. somebody gets hurt you got to pay for you know flights for these people flying in so mm -hmm. it's kind of like the top three things are like really the editing having a great team and you know the talent really Right. If you don't, you know, you got to work something out where you you know pretty much where you paying these people but so this is what I would say the main thing would be having the, the right concepts, though, right? Having the right, right. shows. Because you can have all the money in the world. Right, right. And be extra trash, right? Exactly. Your shows can yeah, be you're right. about nothing, right? Nothing. Like, Story I, producer. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's like, that's another thing. Because I hear so many people like, I see you doing it, so it right. looks easy. But you have to have some type of, like, this isn't my only business. Right. So it's just like, I don't really rely on the network money. The network is fairly new. Right. So it's just like, but I have other streams of income. So right. if you just think that you're going to start a network, you're going to get all these subscribers, it doesn't work like that. A store producer, mm -hmm. which really costs a lot of money. These right. people are writing out, you know, the scenes and, you mm -hmm. know, putting it into the viewer's perspective. A lot of people just think like, all right, cool, I'm just filming. It doesn't work like that. Right. So you got, you've been coming up with like incredible names. Like you got the, the city, the city girls, city girls. you got... Yeah, what a mess. What a mess. Who's coming up with this stuff? I'm coming up with everything. But you just waking up one morning? I'm just literally like, I just I just brainstorm and I just see it like, you know, TV's been around forever and in the day. We okay. grew up watching certain shows and seeing certain things. And, you know, I'm inspired by a lot of TV that okay. I grew up watching. So, you know, I just put my plot twist to it and I just come up with these dope names. Okay. So it just hits you. You come up with the name first. The name first. And then you try visualizing the concept, what it's going to be about. Right, and, right, right. And how to put it together. Then you right. get to it right away. Then I tap in with the story producers. Okay. Story producers, you know, give me their insight. I think it's dope. Well, you got you to gotta change this around. You got to promote it like this. Right. So story, story producer is like really like the icing on the cake. Right. So currently, City Girls is what's hot in the street right now. It's coming. City Girls of Atlanta. It's about to it's, take over. It's, it's getting ready to take over. It's going to be real, real big. So, a lot of bossed up women. Mm -hmm. is, is, you got your bossed up women. You got your bossed up women with personal problems. Mm -hmm. It's all a part of reality TV. It comes with it. So tell me, right, how long did it take when you came up with the name to where you are now? And where are you now in terms of the show? Honestly, I sat on, once I was like pretty much on um, Zeus, mm -hmm. you know, and I got off of that show, I was brainstorming about like a lot of shows. Okay. And, you know, you got to like, when you're in this TV world, you got to pay attention to what everybody's talking about, what everybody's watching. What's happening. You know, what's happening now. The now, right. not okay. then, the of now. Course. Of course. So, you know, I know a lot of women, they love to be on reality TV. Right. And honestly, from like my car dealership to everything I've done, women has done nothing but support me. Okay. So I'm like, I got to come out with a show that's, you know, pretty much about bossed up women that's getting to the bag, 
you know, good looking women because right. I know that men are thirsty to see. Of these course, women. we all are. Of course. So I sat on City Girls of Atlanta for I want to say like six months. Okay. Before I even like I did anything okay. before I made an announcement. So I sat on City Girls for like six months, and then when March came up, I did the actual casting call, got some of my okay. celebrity friends involved. They promoted it, and it was like a huge turnout for okay. City Girls of Atlanta. Okay. I'm talking about I had the streets in a frenzy. Now I heard you like 8,000 people yeah, showed up for 8, that. Yeah, about 8,000 people. Yeah, it was a lot. It was a lot of women. Especially doing it in Atlanta. In Atlanta. We got the boss chicks here. Yeah, Real Black boys. Hollywood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fake Black Hollywood. But that's a whole, <laughs> that's a whole other thing. Right. That actually probably adds to the plot twist, right? Because yeah. these girls are crazy. Yeah, they are. They are. It's <laughs> like, shh. Whew. But, but let me ask you, though. As a producer... You don't make them crazy. I don't be writing in. No, no we don't. It, it's literally, it's <laughs> like you put a camera there and you know, like people want camera time mm -hmm. and they're going to turn it up. They're going to do whatever they got to do to get their story out right. there. And it's just like the camera's just there. It's just like, kind of like rolling. So the story producer will like pick the scenes, okay. but it's not like we're not telling anybody, hey, you got to hey, fight or do anything yeah, like yeah, that. Like, do it this. just happens organically. Organically. It's just organically because you got to think about Atlanta, everybody, the popular people are hanging out in the same places. So mm -hmm. it's just like he say, she say. Then it's just like we get back on set in front of the cameras. Then it's problems. So I heard you said this about such and such. Woo, woo, woo. Then it's just up. But I'm sure the casting has to be important because you have to pick the right personalities yeah, exactly. and the looks to be able to put right. them together. Right. You know what I mean? You gotta have a hero, you, just, you gotta exactly. have a villain. And, and T V <laughs> it's it's like you really you really have to pick the right cast because if you don't it's like people don't want to waste their money watching this if it's gonna be a boring show. They right. wanna see the bosses, they want to see the turn up, they want to see everybody getting lit. So what's the formula? You got eight thousand women popping up. How do you determine Honestly, we, we probably don't even, we wouldn't even get near, ha like, we'll right. just see the number of how many people cast mm -hmm. it, and it's just like, what you bring, because we did live auditions, of course. and it's just like, once you impress the judges, and we kind of did, like, the vote system, and most of the people that helped pick the women were on TV, previous shows, like Love and Hip Hop, you know, right, just right. did TV, reality TV, so we all knew pretty much what kind of look we wanted for City Girls. So what, what, what's the formula? Like, what are you judging when a woman walks in? Is it what she looks like, what she does, you um, know, how she's talking? She has to be drama. What does she I'm going to be honest with you. It's like <laughs> literally just you just know a boss when you see one. Okay. <laughs> you just know. It's just like she, yeah, she, we want you. Okay. Like, some, like, I'm going to be honest with you. Like, you really don't even have to sit, Like, you could just sit back and say, that's what we need. Okay. You know, like not it's, it's it, it got to the point where it was like a few females. It was just like we don't even need to hear them speak. We want you. Okay. <laughs> it was just you just know. Okay. We just know who's going to bring it. It's just like you know when you've been on TV already. You know what the people want to see. So where are you right now in the process? Um, I want to say that we probably about like seventy five percent complete with the show. You know, so is it launching what summer, fall? Um, we're gonna actually launch City Girls of Atlanta in the next two weeks. I want to say, um, you know, probably like ending of May, going into June. Okay. And what's the network format? Is it all the shows at at once? Or is it like once a week you're oh, dropping it's, a it's, new? It's pretty much like every Tuesday we will drop a new episode of City okay. Girls of Atlanta. Okay. So there's no binge watching it or nothing like that. Nah. 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 Okay. And then after City Girls, what's next after that? We got a lot um, in the chambers, you know. Um, we just recently launched Lack Sports, so what we're getting ready to do is tap in with a lot of, like, you know, people in Atlanta that have real motion because it's a lot of, you see, it's like a lot of adult life here, but it's right. nothing really for the kids. Right. So Lack Sports, we just launched that, and we're getting ready to do a lot of things for the youth, you know, boxing, um, football, basketball, Boxing is my thing. everything. So we, we just launched that today, Lack Sports. And actually, my man AJ, um, he has the, the kids' kickball, women's kickball and the kids' kickball. And it's like a big network here that it goes on like every Sunday all oh, over. Oh, wow. Atlanta. That's A dope. lot of people don't know, but yes, yeah, it's, it's big. Yo. Wow. For real. There's a lot of things that go on. That's non-industry stuff because right, Atlanta right, is only right, right. known for, for industry stuff. Yeah, exactly. Right, but it's a whole nother world that's happening outside here. of that. Right. Yeah, because what it is, it's a bunch of successful black people here. Right. That are not in entertainment. Exactly. You know, doctors, lawyers, business owners, you know, and so yeah, that's that's a big deal, man. That's a big deal. So, man, 
We could talk for hours. For We're not going to talk about no car dealerships. No, no, man. No, <laughs> no, no radio shows. Or, man, we yeah. got, it's, it's, you know, the radio world is how I got discovered. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. That's how I got discovered on Zeus. I was interviewing everybody. Right. Everybody was on my show. I'm talking about it was bubbling. Right. It was everybody. I need an interview. I need an interview. And, you know, I remember first launching my radio mm -hmm. station when it was like I probably had like two, three viewers, two, okay. three viewers that was just watching on live. And, you know, <laughs> I believed in myself enough to say that if I keep going and keep going and stay consistent, this radio station is going to blow up. So consistency, consistency. is like the formula. Consistency and also Having some type of budget to invest in yourself, like if you don't have a budget, it's so just you can't like, do it without you the can't, money. You, you can't do it. I don't care who you are. You cannot do it without the money. Even if you're talented, though, you can't do it. You you literally have to. If you do it without the money, you have to know somebody that knows somebody or know somebody directly that can get you in front of the right people. Let, let me ask you this question, because you know we in 2023, people record on their phone. You know, you got your red cameras, but you got your iPhone. What level of quality do you think it needs to be for you to be able to put it out? I honestly feel like I've seen story producers that shot phones, shot shows on, with cell phones. Mm -hmm. So, What was the name of that show that you, they used to film in New York and it was on YouTube all the time and then it got picked up and I think it was like on I think either Jay-Z or Puffy had picked up. It was like a, like a crime show, like a street, street hustler. <laughs> But they used to film it like with regular cameras on some bootleg running around New York shit. I can't remember the name of it, but it was super bootleg. I'm not Just even like sure. Just like Insecure was YouTube before right, on right, HBO. Right, right, you know right. I, mean? I honestly just feel like now they're making cell phones, they're giving you the same quality as these cameras. Mm -hmm. I just, it really comes down to your editing skills. Okay. At the end of the day, but I personally feel like if you have a budget, put it behind yourself so it could be put out right. Right. Especially audio, that's very important. Oh, audio. So if you're gonna film with a, with a cell phone, make sure that you got you know right, your, or right. go on Amazon, get your little audio yeah, mics yeah, and yeah, laugh mics you know, and all that exactly. stuff like that. Right. People don't understand how important the audio is. Yeah. Though, I was just telling somebody. I said, look, you got to get your shots when you're shooting. Mm -hmm. That audio and your coloring. Those are like the main three things. Right. If you if you miss the audio but you got everything else correct, it's just like it's basically it's a, a waste of time. It's now I've with. tried to watch stuff where the audio was bad and I I couldn't. It was crazy. It was crazy, <laughs> right? Exactly. It was crazy, man. So tell the people, man, where they could find you so we could get these subscribers up and get this money. Make sure you go subscribe to the Lax Network, T H E L A X X Network, N E T W O R K. I got it on the Lax Network. Make uh -huh. sure you subscribe. We got so much content. It's getting ready to come. How much, how much is the su subscription? Oh, it's only three ninety nine. Okay. Three ninety nine. Okay. okay. If you ain't got three ninety nine, you ain't got no business watching TV. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you. You ain't got no business three ninety nine. You like literally. Okay. Just give it up. Yeah, man. Make sure you subscribe. I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you over there. Make sure, man. And we're going to get back at you, man. This is Precise, the how-to series. And I'll talk to you guys later, man. Peace. Peace.